Hey, it's Steve. I'm out here hanging around at the soggy bottom farm. Messing around with old water wheel number two. Man, look, I gotta do some stuff in the future. And one of the things I'm gonna need is a, uh, a pulley to attach to these water wheels. I'm gonna attempt to make one out of this old lawnmower rim. It's the rear tire. It's a 20-inch rim, I think. You know, the tire's 20-inch. But, uh, anyways, in case this goes somewhere, let me get it started here. I'm going to cut this guy up and try my best to get him mounted onto this spindle assembly here. And, uh, man, we're going to add a pulley to that water well. Hang on. Put that drain pipe in there yesterday. About to get this other water wheel in here. Everything's going good. I don't want to stop it. I'll just toss the cap on it. But I almost did an accidental first start. Man, that water almost made its way through this uh, this little weir here. There's water wheel number one. Been messing around with number two here. We'll get him done soon. This video will show both of them going at the same time. I don't know if one will be pumping or neither pumping, but uh, here we go. Man, is that one closest to us? Is it crooked? Who knows? Well, I ran out of paint. Let's plug this dam, get these guys spinning. I don't know, hour or two. And something ain't quite right. The wheel on the right is starting to move, but the one on the left just ain't deep enough or something. Got some tuning to do. Man, look at what's going on here for a minute. You know, I'm learning. This is something that nobody's done. Got that bucket. It's down here picking up this water. This guy's pumping water right now. But you see, as it slows down, it's slowing this one down. I know it's hard to see, but I've been watching it long enough. You can trust me. It's slowing that guy down. I either got to get them farther apart or put the pump on this water wheel over here so I can... Once I get belts on these guys, this one's torque will help pump the water. Right now, this guy's uh, slowing this wheel down. As soon as that bucket right there gets up and over the top, you'll see what I mean. This one will speed up. Let's just watch it for a minute. See this guy slowing down? Let's get the pump off of this wheel here and get back to uh, what I originally made and we'll make sure they both spin at the same uh, RPMs. You know, naked, no load. See if I can get that taken apart without ruining all my tie wraps. You know, things cost money. Got it off of there. I saved every one of them tie wraps. And I was out there cutting earlier today and I dropped that grinder. Old dude cut me pretty good down in there, you see it? 
My hands were wet. Anyways. Hey, it's Steve again. Look, I've been watching these guys for hours, enjoying my day off. I've come to the conclusion, you know, the center line between this wheel and this wheel is 110 inches. This guy's got 110 inches of water flow before it hits that wheel. The only thing I can do to get rid of this slower rotation is extend the mouth of this uh, weir here. So I'm going to pour some concrete and uh, give this wheel the exact same amount of flow as this one. But man, we're about to get some rain. It hasn't rained here in about a month. And uh, hey, there's my big tree. But we're going to find out. The wind is having an effect on these wheels as well. But I'm about to be out of the worst case scenario with this water wheel. I guarantee you the water will never run any slower than it is right now. I don't know where this is going to end. i got to go back to work. i got to buy some more concrete. I'm going to put this guy 110 inches in front of this water wheel. That's the only thing I can do to answer this question as to why they're not running at the same RPM. Remember, it's equal but opposite. We got to get them equal first. All right, might be it for this video. You'll know here in a second. I'm out. Man, let me get this on video before it uh, really starts raining. There's the depth of our water right now.